Hey everybody, welcome to Tavern Master. Every once in a while you get an email from a game dev that is like a solo game developer. One person trying to make a cool game. And uh, that's what this is, Tavern Master. It's a love project. Thanks and special shout out to Luca for sending me out a copy of your game. Uh, tavern Master is a game where you build and manage a tavern, but it has a couple of unique little things that kind of separate it from some of the other games in the genre. I'm namely pointing at Crossroads Inn. And uh, we're gonna take a look at it together. One thing I will say, a couple of things actually, uh, this is an early de developer build, right? It's not a done game, still being developed, still being tweaked, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can find links in the description for anything you wanna know about the game from there. Also, hopefully one of the tweaks that happens is that you can skip the tutorial because unfortunately I can't do that for you right now. So we're gonna go through the game together, get, get familiar with it, and I'm probably gonna blitz through this tutorial because it's a pretty straightforward one. It's a decent one, um, but it's pretty straightforward and uh, I wanna get to the good part where I have control. So welcome to the tavern. You'll be in charge of managing and growing your business. A um, couple of things we will look at up here in a second, but let's get through the tutorial and then I'll walk you through some of the stuff. So it says take a look around, move the camera by dragging, WASD, all that stuff, rotate the camera, all this stuff, blah, 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 hit next. Uh, it's like, oh, look, you don't have a tavern. It's not even built yet. Oh my gosh. So there's a couple of different things. You can build buildings, of course. We have, we can build walls, doors, windows, etc., and we could choose different textures for them as well. Every time we build a segment, it costs us 50 gold. Um, the door is here as well. That doesn't cost us anything, surprisingly. And windows also don't cost us anything, surprisingly. You can also retexture the floor and the walls anytime you want to for free. Um, also a weird thing, you can demolish walls and get a refund. So that doesn't cost you anything either, weird. Uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna go to the tables, simple table easy to do uh you can see the it kind of moves around like it's gridless but it will place it in a grid uh place so you you can meticulously kind of figure out where you want to place it sort of but yeah we'll get into that too uh let's go to the seats drop this down there we go so each one of these seats can uh have four patrons here in this uh also we need lights for every seat you need lighting they won't nobody will sit there if it's too dark so we're gonna put a candle on the wall there now notice every time we place something there's two things that happen we spend money and we gain prestige we'll take a look at what that means in a second great job we have enough seats now we need to start serving things so we're going to go to the bar and we are going to buy a beer barrel cost us 200 gold to do that it has 150 liters of beer and we can go ahead and fill it for one gold per liter go ahead and do that so now it's all full and stuff very nice next thing we have to do is hire staff so we're going to go into our people menu we need to hire one bartender and one waitress so each bartender sometimes has different perks. This one, for example, will attract more customers. This one has their mood decreasing slower, which turns out to be pretty good-ish in the early game and pointless in the, in the middle and end game. Uh, walking speed doesn't decrease when carrying something. That's pretty pointless for a bartender anyway. Don't care. I like this one, Hugo. He gains experience two times faster. I like that one a lot. We're gonna do that. Waitresses, I think the same thing if possible, but if I can't get that, then I want them to attract more customers. The thing is though, customers are not gonna be a problem. Your place is gonna fill up pretty quickly anyway, so I find it might be better to have somebody who can carry more drinks. So we're gonna hire Lily. Okay, good. We prepared everything we need for the guests to start coming in. Before we unpause the time, let's see how you can unlock new stuff in the tavern. There's a research system in this, and it's actually decent. There's a fair amount of stuff in here. I would love to see more expansive things. I actually don't really have any ideas for you, unfortunately. Um, uh, assuming the developer's watching this, I don't have any ideas just right now on what I'd like to see with that going forward, um, but more flexibility in building and design is always a good thing. So I'll just keep that in mind. Anything you can do to tweak what we can build, including the outdoor areas, I would love to have access to doing that. Upgrades are researched by serving different types of guests. And you can see the cost of research on the left side uh, of it. For kitchen, we need to serve 20 common guests. So we need to serve 20 people. Uh, it looks like 25 people, not 20. And uh, we can get the kitchen unlocked. So we're going to go ahead and click this. And that'll enable us to get uh, kitchen and stuff happening too. So we're all set. We're going to go ahead and open up the day. And... Uh, 
final tip for you is that you should watch out if there's enough space to sit if all the seats are taken buy more tables and benches good luck okay now the tutorial is done we can finally take a look and look around so we have our little tavern here it's nice in medieval times there's a bridge back here pretty cool little river and people are gonna walk by and stuff and people will kind of come in depending on how much prestige we have the more prestige we can build up the more average guests per day we're going to get and we have a current amount of money here our bartender will then take drink orders and stuff from here deliver it here our waitress will then go and deliver it to the people who are waiting for it take a look at the build menu really quick certain tables cost a lot more and they fill the same amount of space and you get a lot more prestige from them for example the heavy table is a 700 dollars table it does not give you any additional seating space to spend that much money but what it does give you is 150 prestige as opposed to the simple table which just simply gives you 20. prestige is pretty important as you go on in the research tree you will uncover certain things where you need to have higher tiered guests these are like special guests or guests that are like sort of higher up the social chain if you will we start to get into other things where we have knights coming in and other types of cool things and then finally finally royalty will start coming in um and all that stuff happens with special events which we'll see in the future i'm gonna go ahead and play this at max speed for a little while and i'm gonna add a couple more tables and stuff too because i think we could use them so i'm gonna start this off by placing another table right about hmm. now I could probably do it right on there but there's not a whole lot of walking space if I do it that way I don't think that's necessarily a problem you could just walk down the halls but generally speaking I would rather restructure how all of these tables are organized anyway I don't like how spread out they are the tutorial tells me to put two tiles between these things but I think I'm just gonna slam them up against each other I don't really care so we're gonna let this thing run for a little while but in the meantime I can also go into the build menu so 50 50 gold to build a wall if I want to extend this out I can do so okay so we have this much space to work with and later on if you take a look at the research tree you'll notice we have new floor which means we can also build up we can get more kitchens more barrel storage looks like we can hire more waitresses and stuff and eventually we get to the point where we can just have unlimited stuff including a third floor even so you can build up it's you're not restricted to this tiny little area and uh it's nice that way so i'm gonna use some of the money we have to put in another bench let's put in um we'll put this table in here and we'll just get an extra seat there and there looks like i have a little bit of money for an extra table but not a whole lot i'm gonna put this right up against this that's where i would want it at least two seats together and then leave a space and then two seats together etc now eventually we'll have a problem with lighting if we make the building any bigger uh well you can see if we do this you can see the lights area if i take this toggle this off you can see and if there's any desk like say i put a chair right here it won't be lit which means nobody will uh sit there and the goal is of course to just serve as many people as you can uh, but if we serve 20 people then we get the research now your people will also level up as they get experience this will make them uh this will make it to where you have to pay them more but their speed also increases and because their salary goes up they also are happy if you don't pay them enough their happiness drops down if it gets to zero and it ends the day at zero they will quit you have to hire a whole new person so it might be advantageous to keep your existing people happy who are leveling up However, I found that if you have to hire a new person after one quits, well, that person coming in is basically the same level as the one that left. It's kind of like they're all tiered up for you. So, uh, I don't know like if that's, if that's supposed to be that way, but in my experience, it kind of doesn't matter if you keep them happy. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Um, but we'll see how that goes as we go. Now, I want to pause this really quick. One other tip I would say, if I had to give a if I had to give feedback, I suppose, would be key bindings and trying to figure out how to do key bindings. But also, I don't see 
the controls up here being bound to the traditional keys that I would expect. For example, one, two, and three for speeds, or even spacebar for pause and unpause. I would really like to see those conventions put in here. But one of the things I can say is the items can be moved, and we're just going to drag them in where we want them to go. I wouldn't do this while people are sitting there. They tend to get mad and leave. So don't displace their seats while they're sitting in them. Who would have thought that that would make them upset? All right, let's go ahead and speed this up. And uh, you can see the research progress is happening. We only have to serve six more people, and uh, we'll be able to build a kitchen. Now, I'm going to build a kitchen way back in here. And I'm going to restrict it, I think, to just a small bit of space at the start, because I don't think we really need a whole lot of space. Later on, we'll want to expand to have two cooks. And at that point, it might be worth expanding it a little bit, making the building or making the room just a little bit bigger. Make Lily's speed go up. She's very happy with what we pay her so far hugo might start getting upset as we proceed and expand because he'll have to do a lot more work he'll be the only bartender for a while we'll be able to get two servers before we can get two bartenders so it like eventually your servers will be doing a lot more work with her being able to carry many drinks at a time though she'll be able to serve a lot more customers with the same amount of work so we can get by with less servers uh by doing that so that's a pretty good idea too we're gonna get our 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 kitchen soon. So I'm just gonna bring this down and yeah, this one down too. Um, that's just what I'm gonna build for now. We don't have enough money to really uh, do any more of this. Water, you can refill for free. Beer refills for one gold per liter. And um, the text is a little bit confusing because the liters is lowercase, it kind of looks like a one. So uh, I, for a little while, I thought this was 11, even though the, this doesn't look like a one. I thought this was like refill 101, it was a little bit weird. Um, I, I, this could be a capital L, it would make a lot more sense to, like visually. We have 800 gold because we reached that milestone. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But first, I'm gonna add one more seat to this. And you can actually get more prestige for the smaller stuff. It's interesting uh, that small table, like the you know, for two people to sit at it, it's worth more prestige than the simple table here. Kind of interesting. I'm gonna be trying as best I can to expand as fast as I can because the more people we serve, the better, the more money we're going to get. Now we need to do more research and I'm gonna start with an extra waitress cause I think it's gonna be important as we go. Next, we're gonna build. So we wanna get a kitchen going. I think I'm gonna start with a small one. Although, we have enough money now, I could probably just go ahead and make it. Whatever, I'll just make it. Uh, and then I want to make the the place bigger, too. So, I think we're going to expand out. Uh, eh, let's go this way first. I'm going to go this way. So, our bar is going to get this big. We're going to remove walls, which somehow pays us money. 50 per. We get a full refund for everything. It's uh, kind of weird. I don't know about that. Uh, we're going to do floor texturing. And, yeah. We could make this. Now, I kind of like the wood. It's it's homey looking. The, the wood looks better to me, I think. So we're just going to make all this wood. Again, it doesn't cost you anything to do this part. Uh, and then I think for the kitchen, we're going to need a door. So pop a door there. Uh, windows on this new addition. Eh, nah, I don't think so. Because we're going to keep expanding. I'd rather not deal with it later. So, uh, But this is going to be our kitchen area. So we're going to want to build floor texturing in here. I'm going to change that up. We'll, we'll make that kind of a darker color here. And then why don't we also do wall texturing a little bit different in here? Ooh, I kind of like this. We can do this for behind the bar. It kind of looks cool. And then the staff area can be this. It looks nice, doesn't it? There we go. Uh, you might be wondering about shift clicks and stuff. Doesn't exist in the game as far as I can tell. So you have to place one one at a time instead of the whole room. Uh, another cool idea to have. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm doing the ideas and stuff, um, every now and then developers will send me games to play and they're like, oh, we'd love your feedback. I use the video as a way of you know, giving feedback too. So um, I do that kind of thing, assuming that they might watch it. That's all. That's all that is. Uh, let me get the wood floor here because I missed the tile. There we go. And then with 538 gold, uh, let's do the simple table. Notice how there's no lighting here anymore. They're not going to be very happy. We expanded, took out the lights. We're going to have to fix that. I am, however, going to go like this and like this with this table. 
And I think I only don't have much money left anyway. So we're just going to add a couple of extra tech desks right here. And then we need lights. Now, two things we could do for lights. We can either take the candles against the wall, but notice how that doesn't go far enough. So for the time being, what we could also do is had a candle stand. It costs exactly the same uh, and it costs the same, gives you the same amount of prestige. The difference being though, that it gives a ton more light, okay? A ton more light, but it takes up floor space. That's sort of the balancing trick to it. So we're gonna place this right up, uh, I was gonna place it right up against this, but yeah, I think I'll go back here just to cover the whole corner. That light should take care of us for mm, a very long time for now. So we're gonna do that. So our current research is getting another waitress. That's just so that I don't make this waitress mad, although she can carry a lot of drinks at once. So it might have been better to go after, like, say, one guest a day, or going after the lemonade would have been a cool thing, too. Now, with the rest of the money that we're going to have, it's 112. I don't have enough to actually make that yet, but we're going to get a lot of money on food. Food gives you a ton of cash. The drinks are good, too, and a lot of reasons, that's what they're there for. But the, drink, the, the food and stuff, you get pretty good margins on that, let's just say. So we're going to want to get on that too. For the kitchen menu, each of these things is a little bit pricey and we need additional research to get to the fireplace, grill, chopping table, basin, spice shelf, and the cauldron. We're going to be dealing with just the standard stuff for a little while and we're going to have to hire a cook. But once we do that, we have a menu and we'll have access to cherry cake, bread, apple pie, cream rolls, and fruit bowls. And I believe the rest of these, uh, bowl of chicken through on, uh, require other stuff. As you gain stars in this, which is mostly just experience cooking it and serving it and, and all that, you'll start to have a percentage chance to have different types of guests. And these, I don't know exactly what they are. Right now, they're just colored. Uh, a mouse over tooltip explaining what that is would be cool, but for now, it's just the orange, gold, and purple. I'm gonna say it's, um, I don't know, knights, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea. I, I do know that when you invite certain guests, uh, they, uh, like like knights, for example, or I tend to be like this gold color, right? So you'll start to see new types of people and new types of, uh, well, I guess, yeah, people with higher prestige will come into your establishment as you gain it, so. I'm gonna go into the kitchen menu. Let's uh, get a plate shelf. And I think temporarily we're just gonna place the plate shelf maybe just back here in this back corner. Yeah, that's probably fine for now. Uh, we're gonna have our, our kitchen staff or our cooks are gonna be right up here by the door because the servers are gonna come right back to this to get them. Speaking of servers, she's leveling up. And now we can hire chefs. We're not going to do that until we have the proper equipment for them to cook with. We can start with, we're going to need a crate anyway. So let's get a crate going. And um, I don't know why the crate needs so much room. It's a little bit weird. It needs a ton of space, but I'm going to take it and put it right here. See how that goes. I mean, I guess you have to access it, but you really should only have to access it from one side. So I, sh I feel like I should be able to place it up against the wall, but I guess not. But now that we have the crate, we have access to all of these. What we don't have though is a kitchen staff and the ability to cook them. So let's make sure they are not on the menu so people do not order them and, uh, you know, feel like, oh my God, I didn't get what I ordered. Let's make sure we're not making people upset that way. All right. I'm gonna let this run just a little bit uh, until we can get the kitchen staff and stuff. Probably need a couple of days just to earn up that money. Uh, although I think once we get the, oh, there we go, done. That was that was cool. I just clicked it and it happened. <laughs> nice. Uh, we'll start the research for limonada. There we go. All right. So we can hire an extra server now if we want to. I don't need to yet though. That's the thing. We don't need to keep our costs down because our waitress can do a lot more than a standard waitress can. All right, I'm gonna let this run a day so that I can get enough money and then we can continue. Okay, I let it run a day and we have our research done. So we have lemonade accessible now. We're gonna go plus one guests a day, I guess. That's 15 guests to serve, easy. But we can also get the kitchen going now. So uh, counter, 
is what we need. And you can see the icons. The chef is on the little chef hat area, and the servers is on like the hand with the serving plate tipped. <laughs> <laughs> the logo. Uh, so we want the chefs to be on this side and I'm gonna put this right here. Like I want them like right up there. Next, we're gonna hire a chef and we're gonna bring in somebody who, ooh, nobody here is not gonna get upset. Darn, walking speed, that I don't care. I guess we'll have the people who bring in Bert. He's gonna bring in more customers for us, cool. Okay, Bert, let's see what you got. Uh, we're gonna have another table in and I'm just gonna pop it right here. Here, I almost want to put it right up against it, but let's leave a space for the sake of like walking room and stuff. Uh, we can only place one bench, so we'll do so, but we want to expand as we can. Now, Bert's here, but there's nothing on the menu, so let's go ahead and put all of these items on the menu. Here's the thing though you can get a better quality, higher profit prestige item if you take some things off of the menu because then see it concentrates the orders and they'll order a very specific thing and then you'll get level that up faster so there's a different tactic there if you want it i'm gonna leave everything open though because i'd rather have just everything being good but you notice how what bert's doing he grabs the plates and stuff he grabs the ingredients always from one side he'll make it and then he'll be like orders up and he'll just sit there and wait for the next order now some barrels are empty in the bar oh no we want to refill them, but I can't afford to refill them all. So in this case, I'm just going to refill as much as I can refill. There we go. That's good. And then uh, water is refilled for free. So you have to keep on that stuff, and you can lose orders if you're not diligent on that part. But for the most part, really, like, after, you get to the point later that, like, every day you're making so much money that it you're okay, right? Like, you're kind of good. And, uh, you know, every day you can just... Click the bar and say refill all and then ta -da, they're all filled and uh, you can do that later now we have access to lemonade stuff too but uh, we're gonna wait on that lemonade's not that profitable mostly what we need lemonade for is the special events so we're gonna start research on the special events and then by the time we get to this we should have a good deal of money you notice the money is starting to come in a little bit faster now and that's because people eat food too. And uh, yeah, that. So every day when you're done with dinner, you or when you're done with the day, you're gonna have a breakdown, right? You're gonna see your total income. That includes your purchases. So today we lost 223 gold. That makes sense. I bought some stuff, right? I bought an extra table, a bench, and I bought the chef's table, which is 150 gold all by itself. So we did have a little bit of purchasing there. 270 of this is purchases. So aside from that, we were profitable. You can see how many customers you served on that day, including a breakdown of the different tiers of customers, I suppose. How many seats you had, your average occupancy, and you can also see how long it's taking you to serve things. If this starts getting out of control, it's a good sign you need another server. So let's go ahead and start the next day. We have three gold left. Oh, good. You make payments to everybody for their salaries at the start of the day. You can go negative, but it doesn't penalize you as long as you're positive at the end of the next day, basically. To be honest, I haven't seen what happens if you're negative and then, you know, like negative twice in a row. Like, I haven't seen that happen yet. So uh, I guess I just haven't had that happen. Now, there's a couple of other things we can do here. The number of guests we serve every day is kind of indicative of prestige. And as we fill up these things, you're gonna notice, you know, we're gaining prestige every time we add desks and things like that. Speaking of which, I can add another bench right there. Um, but the thing is, there are other ways to add prestige to your place, decorations type stuff. So if we go into the build menu, you're gonna see decorations. You can add plants. They're all very expensive, right? Um, but a lot of these don't even take up floor space, which I find to be very valuable. For example, we can take these banners. They hang on the wall, which means they don't take up floor space and they add prestige. Pretty cool. You could have other things like these shields. They add a lot of prestige. They cost a lot of money. They don't take up floor space. So they're also pretty valuable. Um, coat hangers, these portraits, these pictures. You can add lots of different things here to decorate your place out and uh, make it unique for you. Uh, I would love to see a lot more decoration options in the future. And like I said, I would also like to be able to control the outside of the, of the tavern because I think that's a 
element that's overlooked in a lot of games. A lot of games, they don't pay attention to, or they don't let the player really do anything with the out the outside. Chef was a game where I would have loved to have designed the outside of my restaurant, but I couldn't do it. So it would add a little bit of character. I could spice it up that way, and I would really like that. Okay, so I'm gonna let this run a couple of days now, and as I gain money, I will add more benches, but I wanna show you more of the game in this single video, and to be honest, this is a game that's kind of, we, we play a lot of games like this, to be fair. Uh, so this is a game that's kind of like hurry up and wait, right? That's the thing, right? You know, you know the kinds of games I'm talking about where you do something, but then you're gated by your resources, so you have to wait until you have more, and that's just the general pacing of the game. This is one of those games. So let me let this run a few days, and uh, the next research I'm gonna go after involves serving to specific types of people. I will show you a little bit about what's involved in that, but it has to do with special events, which I'm going to want a little bit of money uh, to do. So give me one second. Let me let it run a few days and I'll be right back. All right. So I've expanded the building a little bit. Let it run a couple of days. And you might think, well, he made a lot of money, but actually it doesn't cost that much to expand because you get a full refund for the rooms or for the walls that are already there. So if I want to expand this wall out and I kind of do 288 gold is all I have. That's really not enough to do this many uh, wall sections. However, really all I need is a hundred bucks because when I delete these, I get that 50 gold all the way back. So really I just need the amount of money to expand this way. And then my cost to go this way have already been covered by that delete. So you can expand pretty quickly that way because you don't really have to pay for it. So we're just gonna color all that stuff in and we're gonna check the lighting. And so far, because of that candle, we're pretty good there. So this is the end of where we can build this. So I can start putting in lights kind of around the edges here. And I like to skip pillars because uh, decorative decoration wise, it starts to look a little better. Uh, and then if I can do the wall lights around here, let's go. I don't really want to go this one. Uh, we'll just go here. I don't have enough money. I think we'll go with this one and this one and then that one. Uh, but we're going to expand this way too. And uh, if we do decide to make this a multi-part series, if you'd like this to be, you know, you want to keep going with this, we can totally investigate that. And uh, I'm open to doing multi-part. It probably won't take very many videos. You know, if I had to guess, I'd say maybe we cover everything the game has to offer in like maybe six to eight videos right now. I don't know, but there's actually a lot of stuff here. It's maybe not that, maybe not that short. Fireplace grill and uh, we start getting extra meals and stuff. You get to new floors, more kitchens, more fireplace grills. And in the latest patch, they've implemented a hotel system. So you can also have a hotel. Uh, you know, you can you can have rooms and stuff in a local tavern and stuff. That's that's a thing. Small hotel furniture, big hotel furniture. So it's not just serving guests. You can design hotel rooms as well, and we can totally get into that. If you guys like, you got to tell me in the comments whether you want to see more or not. You know, uh, it is you know you can kind of see it's a little bit of a hurry up and wait game, but uh, there is some room to be creative in this. And one of those things I can do to up my prestige a little bit more is decorate. So I'm going to take and add this banner right here and here and here. And I think I'll go one more. Okay. So it doesn't take up any floor space and it adds these little banners around here to give it a little bit more color and it also ups our prestige so we can have more guests per day. And then I need to spend the money I'm getting to inc increase for tables, right? I need to start doing that. Um, so you can see their average occupancy is a little bit low. No big deal, but we're serving drinks very quickly. And uh, that's because I have an extra server now. Take a look at this, right? I had to add another server because she was getting upset. These happiness ratings, you have to watch them. This guy's, for example, is 67. I know that it was higher yesterday, which means his happiness is starting to fall. Now, his happiness will probably go back up when he gets promoted. So if we take a look at this, it's now 87. Okay, so he starts the day pretty happy. But if they start getting not too happy, if it's 87, you know, if it starts dropping down to like this area and they start getting this little teary-eyed face you'll see the icon pop up above their head like the chef has right now here you go i was clicking the wrong guy that's why so the chef 
is getting le is not very happy. Bert's not very happy, right? He's at 38. So we need to look at that. We've been serving food, and as you serve more meals, you can level up the meal. This allows you to charge a little bit more for it. It tastes a little bit better, etc. And uh, you know, ultimately, you're gonna be more profitable that way if you level up the dishes. Bert is ready for an upgrade. So with 38 happiness, we now up him. He's at 73. Salary went up a little bit, but he's probably still not gonna be very happy. So I'm gonna bump him up to 30 because he's a real good chef, man. He's been doing a good job. So pay your employees, all right? Now, uh, here I need to refill everything so we don't run out. And when I get enough money now, instead of building, I can go ahead and unlock the lemonade barrel. And when I do that, we'll have the ability to schedule events. So you can promote your, your establishment. And right now I need to spend money on tables, to be honest. But uh, you can promote your establishment with special events. On Monday, for example, we can have open any one of these events. King and Queen Feast. Yes, you can see these are two royalty. I, I guess maybe like the purple ones are like the king's court or like the utmost of royalty sorts of things. Uh, and then you have Viking theme parties, pirate gatherings, battle celebrations. Uh, and then you have like some other people like work anniversary, executioners meet up, wine tasting events, a regular little party for everybody. And they each have requirements. And uh, you don't have to spend the prestige. You simply have to have that much prestige in order to do the event. If you do it successfully, that is you serve this many guests what they want, you'll get the reward that goes along with it. And uh, that's another way to earn uh, a lot of money. So uh, we have 342 bucks right now. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna have to spend on tables and I would like to start spending on the bigger tables for more prestige, but I think it's probably smarter to just up your numbers and then upgrade what your numbers are giving you at that point. So I'm gonna pop in, I think two more tables here and then two more sets of seats just to expand how many people I can serve. And then let's up our cream rolls. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna let this run a little bit. I have a thousand prestige now, which means I should be able to schedule this event now and it is unlocked. So you can see that it's not red anymore. So I should be able to do that event. The only thing is I have to have wine in order to do that, which I can't. However, I can get lemonade if I save up for it. I can do this event, which will get me more gold. And hopefully that means I can keep going and uh, you know, get research. Uh, going. I need to serve six of those red faces to get the drink price down, uh, so I can adjust the drink prices. But I also, like, I can't get wine or ale. I have a lemonade unlocked, but I can't get wine or ale until I do these. One thing I would like to kind of see, and it's not necessarily a requirement, I suppose, in a game like this, I would like the ability to cancel research, or not cancel, pause, research, and switch it. So if I click the wrong one initially, I, should, I would want to, like, say, oh, you know what, I don't really care about this one, let's go to do wine now. I would love to be able to click that and do that, but I can't switch researches. It doesn't let you do that, so. All right, so next day, you see that we're in the negative territory. You can go negative, it does let you do it. I just don't know if it lets you stay in the negative uh, for multiple days in a row without like warning you or something. Uh, I will say this though, while you're negative, you can't buy anything, so there is that. Uh, and that includes refilling your stuff, although water is free, so you can. Uh, refill that whenever you want. I feel like water should have a cost. I don't know. Like, obviously, the, the lowest cost it says is like one gold per liter, right? So it's like, how do you go lower than one gold per liter? And I think maybe you just make it, I don't know, one gold for a refill or something. Somebody's got to go get it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Water, you know? Like, I guess there's a river down here. You just go and pick a bucket up and you fill it up, I guess. I don't know. This is medieval times. They didn't really have... I don't know. I don't really know what they had, actually, for the sake of cleaning water. I'm sure they had really basic filtration, right? All right, let me let this run a little bit. And again, as the money goes up, I'm going to keep expanding how many people we can serve. But we probably should start putting on some events to get more people in the seats, because it doesn't look like I'm necessarily filling all the seats right now. So, uh got to kind of work on that. A lot of times uh, before I had my servers, they would bring more people into the into the place, right? Alice gains experience twice as fast. Lily's carrying more drinks. The only people bringing more people in or the only staff member bringing more people in right now is uh, Bert, I think. Yeah, Hugo gains experience faster. 
So, like, Bert's bringing in seven more people, but really, Prestige is what's going to keep people coming in. And you can see we, we are kind of filling up. You know, it gets later at night. People are sort of filling up every seat, I suppose. There is room for more of that, but I'm going to let it run and keep expanding, and I will see you guys uh, in a little bit. All right, so we're here at, uh, I don't know what day, uh, Thursday, April 18th. And uh, I've been letting this run a little bit. I've been adding some things, tables and stuff. I got some decorations around the the walls and stuff over here. And uh, probably want to add, uh, let's see, probably want to add some of these uh, candles to the exterior, to this little post here and maybe one there. And let's say we add one right here. That should pretty much take care of lighting for every single thing that I could put in here. Uh, we've got single seats around the outside, right? So that's kind of nice. And we could add some more if I have the cash, which I don't. I'm pretty dry. I've been spending pretty much everything I make here. But we can now do special events. Yeah, so Friday, April 19th. We have access to a lot of the stuff because we have lots of prestige from this. And I'll let this run quite a few days, right? Uh, building up that cash so that I can go ahead and buy that stuff. So uh, we've got water and lemonade for $4. That's a special we're running. Or we could go after and get the wine. Now, for research-wise, it's when I fill you in. Also, i got to level up some of my dishes uh, and my people, I suppose. Hugo, he's maximum level now. Look at that guy. He's a great bartender, maxed right out. Bert's uh, pretty happy with his salary. I've had to raise his salary several times to keep him happy, but it's worth it in the end, I think he's good. All right, so research-wise, drink price is done and the wine is done, but we haven't bought the wine, so I have to go ahead and buy the wine. So let's get in here. Oh, I, I've already bought the wine, darn it, I wanted to show you that, shoot. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, anyway, so uh, lemonade is here, of course, and wine. They're both here. And we can change prices if we'd like to as well. Decreasing and increasing. If we decrease the price, we get more guests. If we increase the price, we get less guests, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, we're going to save up for the ale barrel, I guess. But that requires research to get there. So how do we get these people, right? Well... Uh, I'm also adding more prestigious things, but we can get some of these people by like attracting them with these special events. So uh, the orange people we'll go with here. We have wine, so let's let's do a wine tasting event. And if we can serve 30 guests, the wine for seven bucks each, well, we'll get a 300 gold reward. Uh, and I've had a few events that I've done uh, in this little bit. Uh, only one, actually. Only one event I've done in the past just to help raise money uh, so that I could, you know, add more, more seating and everything for you guys. So uh, I'm trying to move the series along a little bit. It's, like I said, a hurry up and wait game kind of thing. And uh, so I'm trying to move it along a little bit. But uh, if we can get small table... Uh, there and there looks good, I guess. Yeah, and then the seats for this can be these, these small little benches. There we go. That's pretty much... Yeah, so we've served all the guests. That's it. 30 people showed up and uh, we get 300 bucks for that. Now, this is the only 30 we're going to get today, I think. You don't really get any more. So, this is all the money we're going to have. But... These guys are going to spend while they're here. We're just attracting a certain group. Just think of it like a private party event kind of thing. Uh, and we got a bonus for, for doing that. Up the chef, yes. Go, Bert, go. And then he's, of course, maxed out. So Hugo's not going to get any more levels to him. But look at how many drinks we've got on standby. All the wine. And we have one server, which right, can serve or can carry eight at a time, right? So one of these servers can just grab a ton of drinks and take them around. And uh, I want to say it's, uh, yeah, Lily. So if we can watch Lily, she can carry more drinks than the other server can. The other server's name is Alice. Nice that way. Sometimes the music that comes in on this game, it's sort of like that crescendo right there, or that little rise. It kind of reminds me a little bit of The Witcher. I, I don't know if that was intentional, but it, sometimes I get that. So with a little bit more cash here, I want to get some more prestigious seating for the single seats too. And uh, I'm going to look at the tables. And we can get one of these Lux tables for $1,000 for one table that seats two people. Ugh. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. 
Uh, I'm thinking not. Uh, we're going to put you there and you there. And then we can add another couple of seats here and here. So I think I've pretty much filled this place. We're going to wait to see what happens with the stairs eventually too. But uh, yeah, I think I might leave this video here. Lots of progress for the first day, let me tell you. Uh, this, this, this takes a little bit, but uh, you can make it happen. And uh, it's a charming little game. There's certainly more to go, but I'd like to hear your feedback and decide whether or not we go any further with it. So let me know in the comments. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, if you like it, subscribe if you'd like to see more games that are like this, including being introduced to some new games. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.